Hey guys, let's talk about After Effects. Say you just opened up After Effects, it's one of the most confusing programs out there, especially in the Adobe Suite. If you've opened up Photoshop or Illustrator or InDesign or another design uh, media related program from Adobe, you open up After Effects and it looks completely foreign. Uh, and even if you've done Adobe Premiere Pro before and have become proficient in that editing software, After Effects is a complete new ball game. So let's dive right into it. For all of these these lessons, please watch in uh, full screen if possible. If you can, watch it in 1080p HD so that you can see everything clearly, see the buttons that I'm pressing, see the text that's on the program so you know what's going on. So, this is After Effects, and I'm just going to go over the different areas of it one by one in this lesson. So we're going to talk about the toolbar, the project folder, the timeline, the composition canvas, and then all these things over here on the right side that uh, you'll be using, including effects and presets and all that sort of stuff. So, starting off at the top, um, and of course we're going to get more into what each of these are, in future lessons but right now uh, I just want to tell you that this is the toolbar similar to in Photoshop uh, or even in Premiere Pro where you have your toolbar in the bottom right hand corner here are all your tools that you can turn your mouse into so for example you can turn your mouse into a hand tool a zoom tool rotate a camera text pen shape mask eraser puppet pin tool, all sorts of different tools um, available for you. And in this course we're going to look through most of them and learn how to do the, how to use them properly. So, and they're kind of similar. I mean if you've used Photoshop you know kind of what a hand tool or the zoom tool is, but for in After Effects and doing motion graphics you use them in different ways and we'll talk about that too. Down below it is your project folder. This is where you keep all your documents, uh, all your files. You will import your video or any textures or layers or, or basic source files into this project folder over here on the left. And you can organize it. We'll talk more about that in a minute. Um, and then down below at the pro bottom of the project uh, bin is are a few more options, a few more tools such as organization tools such as you know adding folders to uh, organize your footage or uh, creating a new composition, deleting, etc. Down here is a timeline and it's a little bit more intense than again Adobe Premiere Pro. Everything that has to do with After Effects is more intense than your standard video editing program. Uh, all these things up here on the top bar will go, th will go through in future lessons. Um, but for now, you just need to know this is the timeline, and it works basically like a timeline. You can hear, see here the numbers depending on how big or small your or long or short your project is. Uh, you'll see different time up here. Mine, mine is over two minutes, so. You see 0 seconds, 15 seconds, etc. You can zoom in on this by either clicking this down here, this zoom in to frame level tool, the slider. You can zoom in. Or you can click this top light gray bar and click the yellow at the end and zoom in as well to your timeline. Right here in the middle is your composition canvas. This is where you'll be actually seeing what you're doing. You'll add your layers, create motion, and this is you know basically your viewer. Unlike Premiere Pro or other video editing software, there aren't two video players. Um, there isn't like a preview and your composition. It's just one. Over here on the right side, uh, you'll see your effects. And in After Effects, obviously, from the title, we use lots of effects. And we'll go over a lot of them in the future. Up here is just more information about the files and the tool, the layers that you're working with. And you'll 
notice me talking about layers a lot. Layers basically meaning uh, different uh, layers of video, of shapes, of text within your project. And again, in this preview uh, little section over here, you'll you can control uh, the, the the timeline. You can play your video, pause it, etc. You can see the frame rate and all that sort of thing. There's lots more. Uh, there are a lot more things you can add to your window uh, that we'll talk about in future lessons when they come up, such as character. And you just go to window and. Uh, click on a different option up here and so for example character brings up font choices and and styles and you can customize your your workspace by basically going to the edge of a section clicking and dragging just to make bigger or smaller or you could grab the top left of each little tab dragging out so I'm hold I clicked and dragged and then moving it around. So I'm going to put that on the bottom. And now I have my character box in a separate tab, separate than my effects and presets, which is nice so that I can always have my character uh, tab open. I might want to have my paragraph open as well behind my character, so I just click it on and then put it up here next to my character. So that's a basic overlook of After Effects, the program layout. I hope you have enjoyed this lesson and until next time, have a great day. Talk to you later.